So this question is a diagram question. I say that because any question that provides some visual input is a diagram question for me. Um, we have a table provided here. We're told that when x equals 2, h of x is 0, which, you know, just to make sure we're clear, this means, and I'll put it here, h of 2 equals 0, right? h of 4 also equals 0, and h of 6 is equal to 8. That's what these values here mean. So the question here says, for the quadratic function h, the table gives three values of x and their corresponding values of h of x. At what value of x does h reach its minimum? Well, I'm going to graph this. Let's see. We have only positive numbers, so I'll just graph that side. So when x is, so let's say 1, 2. When x is 2, h of x is 0. So we have a point on the x-axis. And then 3, 4. When h of x is 4, we are also on the x-axis. So those are two x-intercepts. And then when x is 6, 5, 6, we have h of x is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're up here. Okay. So then, obviously, the parabola has to go down something like this, where the vertex is halfway between the two x-intercepts at x equals 3. Now, what is this question asking me to find? At what value of x does h of x reach its minimum? So yeah, we found it. So I don't know exactly what that minimum value is. I don't know the y component of that minimum value. But I do know that this is my red graph is the only way in which I'd have a quadratic function graph here, right? A parabola graph here that goes through these x-intercepts, right? It must have a vertex between the 2 and the 4. And again, because of the vertical line of symmetry that we have in a parabola like this, the distance between that line and the two x-intercepts has to be the exact same, which means that 3, x equaling 3, must be the x value that represents the minimum value or the vertex of this parabola.